This entrepreneur is betting on one of the tiniest living things on Earth to help build a cleaner future, algae. Nick Hazel says his Sydney-based startup, Algini, has invented a new kind of algae-growing machine called a helical photobioreactor. He says it's cheap to build, easy to scale up, and could one day help remove billions of tons of CO2 from the air. That's by replacing crude oil as the basic source for many products in the plastics, food, and biofuel sectors. Algae is the reason we have a livable planet in the first place. Uh, most of the oxygen that we breathe is coming from algae. Everyone talks about the forest, but it's algae that's actually doing the heavy lifting. Today, industrial society is based on taking fossil fuel and turning it into, into the chemistry that is our everyday life, our plastics, our polymers, all the things we use every day, but ultimately ends up as CO2 in the atmosphere. Um, what we need is a way to, to, to change the way we make our stuff that takes CO2 from the atmosphere and embeds it into the stuff that we use, but it needs to be done economically. Algini's machine looks like a long coiled tube. Thin LED lights shine up from the bottom, so every bit of algae gets plenty of light. That makes them grow super fast, doubling in size in just a few hours. The company found a way to create these perfect spiral tubes using the same techniques that make plastic pipes and gutters. And you put the two together, really, really productive algae, very low cost helix, some LEDs which are cheap and getting cheaper every day, um, powered by renewable energy, which is cheap and getting cheaper every day. You have a production system which can get down to a cost which can start to compete with crude oil. And that's the game changer. Having identified 20 industries that could benefit, Hazel says the startup's job is to supply low-cost algae to replace petrochemical feedstocks. Mathieu Pernice, a professor from the University of Technology, Sydney, says the team there keeps more than 150 different algae on their shelves. What you see is that at the moment, right now, it's an emerging biotech where we tap only into 10 spaces maximum at the moment are commercially profitable. One of them here is Hematococcus, that is uh, producing a pigment, astaxanthin, that is really used for nutraceutical, but also aquaculture. Your, your salmon is pink because of astaxanthin. So there is a market for this high margin product already of algae. But what we can do with algae is really tap into the whole diversity of algae and the whole chemistry, and really make that at scale to make a difference with the gigaton of CO2 uh, sequestered. Unlike regular farming, growing algae uses almost no land. If that means it could also replace plant products like sugar in some processes that might allow land to be returned to nature. Hazel describes his vision for the future. Success looks like uh, millions and millions of photobioreactors coupled to cheap renewable energy around the world, making the industrial chemistry and the things that, that us humans like to have. That's what success looks like. <laughs>